know, imagine I work, I know, I work for a company, I work in HR. I've got one of the more important jobs. I am chief paper stapler. My job is just to staple paper. And I'm good at it. In fact, I'm probably the fastest person you've ever seen staple paper. But one day, I get complacent, and the staple goes into my thumb. Now, I don't think too much of it. I just pull it out. Down at the Shisho Milton Keys, they put plasters on. Not up north. Life goes on. Yeah. You can't say that in Milton Keynes, by the way. I saved that for you. Life goes on. The next morning, I wake up next to my wife. My thumb is three times the size. I go, look at my thumb. She said, what have you done? I said, I've got a staple in it at work. She said, that looks infected. I'm thinking, well done, three times the size. Let's give it away. She says, you're going to need to see the doctor. I said, can you make me an appointment then? She's good like that. So she makes me an appointment. I go and see the doctor. The doctor has one look at my thumb, and he goes, that looks infected. I'm thinking, well done, doctor. Seven years at medical school wasn't wasted then. Didn't even need to Google that one straight in with an early diagnosis. He says, you're going to need to go to casualty. So I go to casualty, see the triage nurse. She has a look at my thumb, and she went, that looks infected. I'm saying, you medical professionals, you are excelling today. She says, you're going to need to see the doctor. So well, can you tell the doctor I've got an infected thumb? She said, I will. Ten minutes later, the doctor calls me in. Mr. Hand, I go, morning, doctor. He says, I believe you've got an infected thumb. I said, that's right, doctor. He went, oh, that does look infected. <laughs> he said, uh, I'm going to have to lance it, draw out some of the infection, put some stitches and give you some antibiotics. So he does all of that. But as I'm going, he said, if it comes back up, you're going to have to come straight back. The next morning I wake up, it's five times the size. It's developed its own heartbeat. I go straight down to casualty. I see the doctor. The doctor says, I feared this may happen. He said, we're going to have to operate. So he operates. The operation was relatively successful. But unfortunately, as a result of the infection that I sustained, I've ended up with PTD, permanent thumb disability, acronym for everything. That thumb will never, ever bend the way it used to bend. I don't think too much of it. And then a few months after, we're out shopping. And there's a little stand that says, have you had an accident at work in the last three years? I thought, well, it costs nothing to talk. So I go over and go, look at that. Saying, what is it? I says, PTD. PT, I said, permanent thumb disability. How did you do that? At work. What were you doing? Stapling paper. What were you using? A stapler. <laughs> were you trained? <laughs> no, they gave me nothing. They just said staple paper. I think you've got a claim. So they appoint the solicitor. Solicitor writes in to the site director, says, following our client's accident at your premises and the subsequent permanent thumb disability sustained, please supply us with a copy of the training for the stapler and the safe systems of work. Who does that site director pass it to? Health and safety. And the poor health and safety manager's looking at this now. Safe system of work for stapler. Guess what? Shit, I haven't got one. <laughs> Training, we didn't give him any. So he now has to go back to the MD and say, we haven't got it, we're going to have to settle. So as of next week, all colleagues will be invited to the half-day step awareness training course, mandatory. <laughs> Followed by regular toolbox talk updates. What should we have said when that came in? Go away. Because the law does talk about risk assessing everything but then it says, and document significant findings. Is a stapler significant? Well, no, because my daughters know how to use it. I don't know how, but they just know how to use a stapler. So does that come under common knowledge? Because if it does, why do I need all of these things? And the problem is, over the years, that's kind of where we've been getting. The letter comes in for a claim, and we end up believing we've done something wrong, so we put something else in. And sometimes the answer is, we just don't need it. And therefore, what people really do need, we don't detract from it.